Bob Hood, Spirit's brother. Georgia Dish Boys. You want to do Birds of Blue? Yeah. Let's do it. Song about moving Athens. Summer, I was up there. That was our first. Yeah, y'all's first, first summer. My first summer. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the idea originated, and we started kind of putting some songs yeah. together. And then playing live, first time was seventeen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, summer of seventeen up there. Um, yeah, we went on a cross country trip with their old band up to Alaska, and I'd worked up there before, and uh, we all got jobs up there, and and uh, and they played with their band Reverend that they had, it's like a crazy horse, rowdy, sonic youthy rock band. And um, we started doing this acoustic stuff like in our tents on the side, just to have some fun, something to do. And then them kind of teaching me how to play. Um, and came back and made a, uh, made a CD in my bedroom and in Rob's bedroom. And uh, Rob recorded all of it on a Tascam, uh, digital Tascam. And I think we all wrote a, a song each. And Rob played uh, like electric guitar and acoustic guitar. And I played acoustic guitar and Garrett played bass and, and mandolin. And Rob played violin on it. Um, this is a song about that, uh, that drive up there. It's called Highway One. Yes, we were we were driving up California's Highway One and uh, stopped to stop to get gas and uh, yeah, here we go. Thank you. 
get into heavy into this big interest in wanting to learn how to play music because it's just been a big music fan my whole life and and you know looking for ways to have an outlet and and just felt like man it's the coolest thing in the world I've got to, I got to do this somehow and and you know these guys took me in and uh, Alaska was like kind of I guess where everything came together mm -hmm. for us maybe yeah I mean really starting with a ride up there just the, the whole three weeks and everything was uh, was a uh, an adventure for sure yeah camping sleeping with like just a a blanket. Yeah, same one we use on the perch tail. Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Yukon was pretty, pretty chilly up there. Yeah. Long days. What did you do? Worked in a campground for two years, I did, but then when uh, when they came up, we worked at this restaurant and, and we were dishwashing and, uh, yeah. and we were playing out back of the place. Uh, and Reverend was playing out back of the place and we were playing in the tents and by the campfire and stuff. And this girl that worked there um, started calling us the Georgia Dish Boys, like not as a band or anything, just to, so that she didn't have to say Rob, Seth, and Garrett every yeah, time she wanted to talk to all of us. We were all together all the time. Yeah. So she just say, oh, there's the Georgia Dish Boys. And when we made that CD, we didn't have a band name and just figured uh, we call it Georgia Dish Boys. <laughs> you can't call yourself uh, you know, REM or you know, yeah. something. Taken. <laughs> Cooper Landing. Cooper Landing, yeah. Which right. is on the Kenai Peninsula in between Seward and Homer. Uh, right on the Kenai River. Um, where the Kenai River meets the Russian River. Yeah, it's like a big fly fishing spot. Mm -hmm. Bunch of seasonal work there, so. Yeah. Beautiful too. Yeah. So beautiful. What does Athens mean to you? It used to mean where I went to the, the, the doctor and where we bought pants at. <laughs> but now it means, uh, and then slowly over time, I guess it, it became uh, just the one creative place you can survive in North Georgia and have progressive ideas yeah. and not be told you're a fool. You know, maybe. I don't know. It's real pure, I think, um, as far as as far as music goes, playing music to uh, promote your craft and you know meet folks. Yeah, such a good community for the music too. Yeah. I feel like it's not monetarily driven, of course, uh, yeah. by any means, in my opinion. Which is which is perfect. It's yeah. a perfect scenario for a musical town. <laughs>
like in the car, could be like at the grocery store, could be a lot of times at work, like if I'm, uh, any, any job I've ever had since the second time going to Alaska I've tried to write at, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it started out with you having tons of lyrics and then us putting them to music yeah. in Alaska. And then, um, yeah, cause it started out like I was just, I had written a ton of poems coming out of college and, and like my second year in Alaska. And then when we started playing together, you know, it was, I had a ton of lyrics and, and ideas and they had like the ability to play music. And, and then I guess I maybe caught up with them as far as with an instrument. And, and, and so it was like I could do the chords myself instead of having to take them to Rob and then like eventually it was like I can just write the whole song myself and then but we, once we put it in the room and they put their spin on it it becomes like this whole nother thing you know um, for the most part because like you know, I can't play the bass and the guitar part and the guitar part but it's like they know they know what's in my head though now we've been playing together so much and and, and being such good friends it's like the guitar part I would think I think of in my head in my room is the one that he ends up playing like every time, you know. Or bass part, same. Or Tyler with the keys, or Eric with the drums now, or Mark um, with the keys. Tyler can pedal stick in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler That's the key is his name. <laughs> He's a great songwriter too. Uh -huh. he, is, he plays pedal steel with us and. Uh, but yeah, it just feels, uh, just feels uh, all right and like anything I've ever been a part of.
on highways and when I was just driving outside and um, yeah, of course, is, uh, so why don't we all be ourselves and do the best we can because that highway's been worn more than our hearts can understand. <laughs> Truckers. I mean, the first time I ever heard that was in the kitchen at the cabin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, their their drummer from their old band, uh, John Paul, it's a huge influence on this band happening because I mean he had like a thousand CDs when we lived at the cabin, and it was like anything from like Nina Simone to like early replacements demos, you know. So. I remember I started listening to a lot of Dinosaur Jr. after that trip too. It was, um, it was fun. I guess the river in my mind when I was writing this song was is the Kenai River. Like it's it's turquoise in color because of the glacier melt of the water, and so it's uh, 
doesn't look like a normal river, but, but it could be any river. You know, it doesn't even have to be a river. It could, it could be just like a mindset. You know. Thank you.